Hey, what's going on? So this is another update of my body transformation journey, which just basically this series, it's a weekly docu-series where I'm sharing my body transformation journey. You know, I'm 52 years old and, um, and, and I'm sharing just kind of a little bit of everything that I'm experiencing, you know, from the, the training to nutrition to some of the highs and the lows and all the things that 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 I'm going through in documenting my my journey of my body transformation here. So um, in the meantime, you know, if you enjoy this type of content, be sure to like and subscribe. So that way I'm going to turn your notification settings on so you'll get updates every week when I put a new uh, weekly update here on my body transformation journey. And in the meantime, if you're looking for resources on um, how to build muscle and get stronger when you are in your 40s, 50s, and beyond without the aches and pains and nagging injuries and things that we often get using the techniques and methods of applied neurology, then you can click the link in the description box below. So without that, all that being said, here's another week update on the Kevolution Body Transformation Journey. Locked up, I'm held so tight. This place is dark and dirty. I've been here too many times. My private purgatory. Cry out, but no one answers. Silence consumes my mind. share a little bit of what uh, has been going on. So this morning I, I woke up and was noticing I had like this lower abdomen, kind of lower gut issue going on. So it's just um, having some bloating, um, some stomach distension, and, and just kind of weird. Like, you know, I haven't been dealing with that much at all over the past 13 weeks. And, you know, I noticed that this started last night. So I think it's more from um, I do not digest certain vegetables well, and so things like broccoli, um, zucchini, um, squash, those kinds of things can just give my stomach problems, and I had a little bit of that last night. I had some chicken and rice with some vegetables, and that was it, and I noticed it right away, like <laughs> right after. So it's kind of carried into today a little bit. Um, it hasn't affected me in terms of like my energy. I think my mood a little bit, I'm noticing. Like I was just uh, kind of irritated with a few things that happened, but I, I just was more irritable than normal. Um, 
So, you know, it's kind of funny because gut health does affect like brain health and things like our mood, our energy levels. Um, so just noticing a little bit of that. So usually what happens is when I do uh, a workout, after I get through a good hard workout, it kind of um, resets my mood for me. You know, it, it kind of resets the tone for my day a lot. Uh, so it helps with that. And then, you know, just on the other end, when I get gut issues that are, that are happening, you know, now I know it's like number one, pump a ton of water in. Like I just, I will get a lot of water going. Typically I've been drinking a gallon of water a day, probably a little over that. Um, and then, you know, so today it's just going to be more of the same, a lot of water going down, um, trying to drink it a lot more frequently rather than trying to drink it, you know, in big gulps, like a lot at a time. So it's more like sipping it more often throughout the day to get it in. Um, and then, you know, with gut health, gut health is like everything, you know, being, you know, I'm 52 years old now. I've been struggling with gut health issues for a number of years, uh, you know, and it made it so difficult to build muscle, lose fat, you know, gain strength, um, have the energy to get through my workouts and be able to recover from them. So, you know, without gut health, it's like, you know, these, these improvements that we try and make and try and look, feel and perform our best. It just, you know, it, it, it makes it so much harder. You know, I was to the point where 13 weeks ago and, you know, long before that, I was just, you know, I, I was, I was able to get results and do things, right? I got leaner at times. I built muscle over the course of, you know, years. But the problem is that it, it took so much longer and it was a lot more um, effort than it should have been. Not that it should have been easy, but it just makes things so much harder to do when you have gut health issues. It makes it harder to lose weight and get lean. It makes it harder to, to build muscle and get gain strength and um, and, and just to be able to, to recover from training. So I described it like it felt like I was working twice as hard and getting, you know, a fraction of the results, like literally. And no matter what I did with my diet, no matter how much I tried to manipulate things, tried supplements or fasting or these different protocols, nothing worked. Changed my workouts up and everything. And it just, you know, nothing was really, um, was, was, resolving it so you know gut health really is the foundation of everything uh, in terms of our health and fitness and our physique so um, that's kind of where i'm at today so some of the other things that i'll be doing you know sometimes it's just um, getting into some of the like i'll do some um, kind of massage work for certain areas especially like lower gut um, so you know i'll just kind of massage different areas to try to keep inflammation down and try to get um, you know my gut to kind of kick in and process things a little bit better. So a little bit of gut massage uh, will be on tap for today. Um, what else? Uh, some things with you know just some vagus nerve kind of work. So um, you know vagus nerve is connected from the brain to the gut, and it regulates so many things just in terms of digestion, um, in terms of of help keeping us calm and managing stress as well, because stress is a big issue for me. I've got a million things going on, juggling not only like training and workouts, but doing that um, with balancing out family life with you know, uh, you know my fiance and the kids and also you know work and school. Um, I'm in a master's degree program, so there's a lot going on. There's a lot of stressors that, that are going on constantly. So doing some vagus nerve kind of uh, work helps to keep that um, that whole stress response calm because you know when I'm overly stressed out, the more stress we have, the less um, capacity we have to digest food, and it, it does affect our digestive health. So those are just some of the things that that I'm going to be uh, kind of working on and have been kind of digging into you know over the uh, the morning so far. So I'm going to get this workout started and get back on the road to getting this gut to heal.
right, we are getting ready to train with Oliver the dog and me. That's what uh, Oliver's workout right there is watching me, protecting me from whatever forces might come after me while I work out. So that's what we're doing today. We got a leg day on tap today. Uh, so gonna be some serious work here today. And uh, this is the one that I look least forward to. It's the one that I gotta kind of mentally get geared up for the most. Uh, but on a good note, the digestive issues, the gut issues I was having from yesterday have completely vanished and shifted out. So um, right coming off the, the workout yesterday, I noticed it was a shift right away within about 30 minutes after. I just felt like everything just kind of cleared out, moved through, carried through the night that way. Um, I woke up feeling good, shirt was feeling loose again, and things were feeling like kind of, uh, you know, back to normal, right? So that's where I'm at today. Gut's feeling good. Energy's definitely feeling good. So going to hit this workout with everything I've got. And uh, name of the game today is to survive the leg day. thinking I couldn't, you know, 45s were, were it. That was the heaviest I was gonna be able to lift. And then I see that and all of a sudden this shift in my mind happened. Now I gotta do the 55s. Crazy, I mean, it's all a, uh, a mindset thing, right? Hold ourselves back a lot of times thinking, you know, where our limits are, what we can and can't do without actually really pushing those boundaries and finding out what we're really capable of. So. Let's see what I'm capable of today. Boy, want to versus have to, huh? All right, week 13's in the books, results are in. So, you know, it's the results uh, week to week, you know, these are not going to be crazy, like, wow, this is gonna go viral because I've achieved some crazy results. Like, you know, with this body transformation, the one thing that it does is like, it's been teaching me so much about myself, like who I really am, what I'm really capable of, of achieving. Um, you know, and, and it really works at the deepest layers. Like it is a real challenge and you got to really dig deep um, to get through not just the workouts, you know, but that's part of it. Like digging deep to get through all the training, to do it day in, day out, to stick with the nutrition, to make sure that you're managing all the other variables with sleep and with recovery. And then on top of that, it's like balancing out family and work and, you know, my school schedule, my master's program and all that, like, you know, it's juggling all of this and balancing things. So it's teaching me so much about myself. It's about so much more than just a physical transformation, even though I love the results with that. Um, so, you know, this week, it's been consistent with the last weeks, although my weight didn't change at all, which I'm totally cool with. My weight held but my tape measurement um, went down. So my stomach went down another quarter inch, which has been the trend quarter inch week to week. Um, I'm thrilled with it because even though it doesn't sound like a lot, if you add that up over the course of a month, that's about like an inch a month off my midsection. So add that up over the course of three months. And even though, um, you know, the weight might not change a whole lot or the body fat might not change a whole lot, 
man, when the inches come down like that, it's like the whole um, body comp changes. So your body composition really changes. I'm watching my dog here, he's kind of sniffing around on the rug and I'm making sure he's not getting ready to do something he shouldn't do. Anyway, so that was, that was the results. Um, my challenge with this though really has been Saturday. Saturday has been the tough day because that's been like family day for us. And, you know, sometimes it's not always easy to stick with this uh, when we have like a family commitment. We have one day of the week where it's just my fiance and our kids, we get to do something together. So when I've got training to do, um, and that kind of sets us back on a schedule, like we're supposed to leave at a certain time, but I got to get this workout in and I've got to make sure I've got my meals prepped and I'm getting things in on time on that end. You know, sometimes it's, it's not easy um, to juggle that, especially because I'm the only one in the household who's got, you know, a special diet that I'm sticking to, who's, you know, doing this whole thing because I've had gut health issues and all this stuff that happen, you know, that my kids, that's so foreign to them. They're like teenagers. They don't get what that's like, you know, they can enjoy eating shit all the time and it doesn't bother them, you know? And for me though, <laughs> You know, I'm not like that no more. I was like that when I was their age. Now I can't get away with that stuff no more. So I have to prioritize my health um, and, and keep that at the forefront of my mind that as much pressure sometimes as it is to let's just, you know, skip the workout or cut it short early because the family's the priority. I have to remind myself that if I don't have my health first and foremost, I'm not going to be around long enough to be doing things with my family. You know, my gut health issues that I had were like little by little, they were taking my health away from me and they were like really taking my life little by little from me. You know, I had health issues going on, other things that I won't get into right here, but you know, my energy, I just didn't have the energy, you know, to, to be present with them all the time. Um, I was moody and irritable and it's like, I wasn't really fun to be around. So that first and foremost, is the priority. Um, so it's it's really a constant juggling act and making sure that I'm communicating that to my fiance. So, she, you know, we're on the same page about, you know, why I'm doing what I'm doing and just kind of subtly reminding her because um, I find that it's a lot easier to manage all of this when the expectations are set. You know, everybody in the household knows like what to expect and, and we're all on the same page. Um, but it, you know, really is a, a kind of a juggling act, but, um, you know, it's one that, uh, I, I'm glad that I'm doing this. It's, um, it's really paying off. I feel so much better now. And, you know, the things that I'm doing are sustainable. This is not about overnight, you know, getting ripped in, in three months or, you know, lose 30 pounds in 30 days, all this crap that, you know, you just are doing things that you can't sustain long-term. So, um, this really has been about creating a transformation that um, is sustainable, you know, for the long term, because this is something that I've got to keep doing the rest of my life. So that's week 13. I'm down another quarter inch. Don't give a shit that the weight didn't change. I'm fine with that. Um, and I'm looking forward to week 14. I think that's going to be a little harder because we're going to pull the food down a little bit. Um, so, you know, it's just kind of keeping the body from adapting completely and stalling on the progress that I'm making. So that's where I'm at 13 weeks in looking forward to week 14 and uh, I'll put another video there. But for now, that is a wrap on week 13 and I'll catch you in the next video. I'm